And this afternoon, the Kansas State High School Activities Association Board voted to allow parents and guardians back into the stands for winter sports. And our Soli Angles joins us live now with a breakdown of all the details. Soli. Yeah, Brooke, that's right. Keisha has gone back and forth on this one, initially allowing no fans in the stand for winter activities. And then the Board of Appeals met and they said, hey, let's reconsider this. So the Board of Directors met today virtually. They voted in a 54-24 favor. They're allowing up to two fans per participant, two parents to be exact, or guardians, to get back in the stands for winter activities. And that will start this Thursday, December 10th. Now, this one would include basketball, it includes bowling, swim and dive, and wrestling. But it's not just a basketball player, for example. It's two parents or guardians for them, any band member or dance or cheer member. So anyone that may be in the gym that's a student. During the meeting, there was a lot of back and forth on how schools from different areas of the state should allow to be proceeding. And Keisha Executive Director Bill Fathlick went into detail all about this just about an hour ago. It's important that schools always have a voice in that. They had asked for this foundational policy. Uh, discerning how far to turn the dial down was very important, and that's what the process allowed us to do, is to turn that dial down to a level. Now we turned it up a little bit to allow those parent and guardians in there. And uh, so, you know, that, that local control was still evident, is still present, and uh, now at a, at a greater level. And with that comes that accountability and responsibility uh, to know what is the, what, what's the data showing in your community. So you know, the, the membership asked for the, the foundational policy. They received that. They just adjusted the level at which it was implemented. So it all goes back to the community of each school deciding what's best for them. Parents and guardians are allowed back in, but that doesn't mean that every school implement that. They just have the option to do so. Two more important notes, and I just want to make check my notes to make sure I get this right. For divorced or separated parents, that is going to be up to the schools to allow how they're going to split those tickets for up to two for each participant. And on top of that, parents and guardians are the only ones allowed in. So it's not going to be mom and a little brother, a little sister, just parents and guardians for the time being. The wording very specific. There. We'll have much more on this online and throughout the day, hearing from parents all about the decision today. But for now, live from Keisha, Sully Engels, KSNT Sports.